What's up, witches? It's Witch Angel and Nakora, and welcome back to Pokemon Spork. In our last episode, we had some weird stuff going on when we was working with the police. By the way, we're going to do one more um, thing. By the way, that knocked out Pacino? That there spooked the crap out of me. I loved it. Case hey, its name, Dentist Disturbance. Author's note, you must play the Force of Feeling Freaky Ranger mission before you can do this one. This is the second part of that plot line. Oh, so we have to go back to doing the ranger crap. Okay, then never mind. Excuse me. I got some major burps going on here. I always finish off a couple uh, glasses of tea before I even do an episode. Damn, what is wrong with me? For sale. Hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, well, I got this on the turbo mode to where I move a little faster. That's why everything moves a little faster than normal. Which do you prefer? Fruit Hoopas or Cocoa Slurpups? Oh, I like them both, actually. But Fruit Hoopas? Those are those sound tasty. We have a Spritzy. I use Spritzy's sweet scent as an air freshener. Dude. I would love to have a spritzy because, uh, sit in the bathroom is kind of stink. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> but I hope you keep it clean, though. Which Pokemon's name do you think is the hardest to spell? I can never remember if the U in Tyro goes after the O or the G. Reggie, giga, 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 yes. <laughs> I think the hardest to spell is actually Pukumuku. I mean, I know I can get it right the first time, but still, it's kind of hard to spell. Power Gems? Is that like Power Rangers? <laughs> Alright, what's up? Let's talk about this guy. Ooh, okay, so we can beat both gyms. He'll give us a reward. But currently, we're looking for... Uh, hold on. Wow. So, wait. Let's so talk to Raymond again. Where do we need to go for this? I think it said the department store. And department store is over here. There's a sign on the door. Close for renovations. Check back soon. What the butt? You've got to be kidding me. Hmm. Where's the sweet shop? The elf has gummy teddy ursa. Hmm. Click down. So much. Candy. Oh, great. Let's see. Rage Candy Bar, Lava Cookie, Whip Dream, Lumio Skelet, Shallow Sable, Old Gato, Castilia Cone, Gummy Teddy Ursa. A bag of gummies shaped like Teddy Ursa. It heals all the stats problems of a single Pokemon. I would like to have 10 bags of Teddy Gummy Ursa, please. Thank you. No, thank you. Dude, I would love a, a bag of gummy bears right now. Closed. Okay. P.I.E. Tours Building. Um, did you do realize that P.I.E. also stands for Pain and Exposure, which is Nate Wants Battle's newest album? So, yeah. I want to go in here. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, I got the clear badge. Uh-huh. Pre-Mogan Canyon soon. Okay. A marble? Huh. Hmm.
<laughs> I think it's Pokemon Entertainment uh, Experience or something like that. No, it's Pokemon uh, in Industry in its Entertainment or I don't know. Yeah, let's see. Pokemon Fan Club, Pokemon Trainer Club. Let's go to the Twilight Tavern and see if we can find anything there. Closed? Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if this game runs on the clock in my computer. Mystic paint those turrets. <laughs> oh, hi, Spritzy! You're such a cutie! Zooming in without a license to see the sun. I think everyone's lost their gosh dang minds in here. Wait. This guy's from the wonky forest. Hold the napkin's hand. But napkins don't have hands. Mr. Coming Hat! <laughs> Does everyone here have a fairy type or something? I still know who invented mashed potatoes! Yeah, I'm screen capping that one because that is just funny. Apparently we would like some garlic bread. Y'all are making me hungry. Oh, more diaries. <clears throat> Day 33. The battles have been going on for quite some time. There have been wins and losses for both sides, and it's too early to make a bet on who will be the victor. I've had most of success, though with one person in particular I may have met in my match, both in sabotage and in love. I never met someone who can not only protect my tricks, but come out with me help me with good ones of their own. When she says smokescreen, I was the one you couldn't see. Her name is Belladonna. She's a poison type specialist. I wish we weren't enemies. Recently, I had a dream about a talking Litwick. The setting was similar to the mansion. It asked me whether I really, what I really think about if I'm doing is right. At first, I brushed all this off as just a dream, but real or not, that, Lit that Litwick has a point. The whole reason I joined the rogues in the first place was so that we wouldn't have what the rogues are doing now. I need to reflect on this. <clears throat> so she met the same Litwick that brought us out of the dream. I just got some leftovers. Hmm. I don't even know what these things are over here. There's another battle over here. <gasps> Solosis! Now I know where to catch one. But not right now. There's some weirdos in here. There's another diary. And another gas leak. 
Final entry. It's been a long time since I wrote in one of these. A lot of things have happened since then. I did eventually quit the rogues and fought side by side with Belladonna against them. My defection weakened both their forces and the morale. After the rogues lost, most of them went, returned to their home region. Humans discovered the, discovered the sea stars in their underwater society and became acquainted. During that time, the battle against the rogues was close to being over, so the dead ally, dead ally was resolved, redacted. Huh. Must be some sort of person they're talking about. The decision was made to form a Pokemon League. Both myself and Belladonna ended up as gym leaders. Dark and Poison, respectively. We also got married. It turned out the feelings were mutual. <gasps> oh, there was a bisexual wedding in this thing! Yes! We've both never been as challenged by anyone else as we were with each other. We're really happy. And today, we both retired as leaders so we could spend more time together. For my successor, I chose Dylan. He has my respect for bringing back Twilight Tavern and running it on his own. Belladonna chose Thomas. He's made some noteworthy discoveries for both science and Pokemon. I came back here to write all of this as closure for this mansion and what it means to me. I found out I'd been taken over by wild Pokemon and Isabel's emulations. But that's fine. I'm gonna live together with Belladonna. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, it's a Rotom. I'm gonna catch you. Gotcha. Dead mouse. Funny. I'm gonna name you Orange Boy. <laughs> wow. There's nothing else in here than that Rotom. But good gestures. Do I have to beat everyone in order to gain access in there? Because I will. Best of shoes glow in the dark. Okay. I drink books. How does one drink a book? Sunglasses. <laughs> oh, a cute nose is his name. Really? That's one big silhouette. Woohoo! Measure the Vortex's talons. You make a lot of sense. Nothing in here yet. Maybe we'll come back here in the future. Hmm. Maybe we could be her, we'll find out something else. Out Raz for Orange Boy, who actually is Raz's other half. Or say one of his two other halves. So basically, we got the hacker, <laughs> but I forgot how to switch his form.
Hey, <laughs> glad to see you be keeping at it. But I could tell the battle wasn't the only thing on your mind. What's up? Well, I have to do this thing for some judge so I can battle him, but I can't seem to find where the hell I have to go. Oh, you're looking for the info on the vitamin black market. I know about it, but that's not something we should discuss out in the open like this. Maybe into the Pokemon contest hall. Before that, though, would you mind telling Delisha to go there too? We're going to watch some contests, but I have a feeling she's stuck in your face in the candy shop. Can do! Yo, Delisha, your sisters was looking for you. So? Really? I have to battle you now, Miss Cotton Candy Head? I just got a healing pair. Perdot. Shiny S. Ampharos. Would you like to trade for my shiny Faramosa? Because I really, really like that. It looks like cotton candy. It's so big, its head will not even fit on the gosh dang screen. I bet you if you look all the way up, you couldn't even see its head. It's a mother freaking palm tree. Its head literally reaches the ceiling of this place. head after you use a move like that. Or after making a faint.
much. Candy. Well, that's one of two problems solved. Thanks for finding Delicia. Meet me in the back and I'll tell you everything I know. Alright. It will be too focused on the contest to notice it here. Okay, so the ringleader behind this operation is Dylan. It's a dark type of gym leader. The base where these vitamins are produced and distributed is underground. He reached to the back of the Twilight Tavern. He also has, he also has Tom as the poison gym leader helping him. Thomas is the one who makes the vitamins that I sell. You remember at the Western Waterway when I told you that my mom was the second leader to turn Team Portal down? Dylan was first. A little after this vitamin business started, Barker approached him with an offer to join Team Portal and lend them his services. I figured since they were both operating at such a law's knowledge, they could both help each other out. But he misjudged Dylan's character. Dylan liked the sound, didn't like the sound of Team Portal at all. Because of that incident, Team Portal stays away from the city and Dylan stays at Team Portal's business. Both feared double exposure, where one snitches and the other snitches back. Team Portal did gain some headlines after you and Chelsea fought them at the beach, but police and, police and civilians don't know the half of what they've been up to. Thanks for that, by the way. It's everything. I'm gonna watch the contest and not worry about Team Portal for now. You should enter a contest too. I'd love to see you perform. Well, I can't. Where is Delisha anyway? So, what'd you find out? They're kind of working out of the back of the t Twilight Tavern. Still is behind this? I don't really want, to, really want to believe that. But that's the tip you've got that needs to be true. We have a name and a place, we'll find out soon. There really is a base of secret underground passage, I'll think we can let any, anybody in. Let's look around for clues. Alright, let's see. Of course. Alright. Let's see, we have to go back to this area. The gym is right over here. Oh ho, we can now get in! Nice little place. Very checkerboard. Alright. Can't get in there, but let's talk to some of these people. A toast to toasters! A toast to toast! That's weird. I'm mainly here for the black and white tile aesthetic. <laughs> Sometimes I pour my drink into my food and I eat it. Lady, you're weirder than I am. I drink till I can't think. Sounds like me whenever it's New Year's. And I'm the drinking, but the food here is delicious. <laughs> uh, Pokemon Yellow and Red and Blue reference there. You know, for for uh, Vermilion Gym, the Pokeball. Ooh, that looks back here. Only Droll Underground. Who are you, and why do you look like Froppy? Hi, my name is Natalie. Do you think you'd make it to our hideout without a fight? We heard Raymond found out about us, so we're on high alert. I'm guessing you're the one he sent. He probably wasn't confident enough that it was within his jurisdiction to fuck it himself. They cut that of the other by sending a train. If I wanted to, if I wanted to, I think that the grounds were revoking his position. But I won't do that. For right now we got our own positions to position to protect. Alrighty. Okay, lady, I really like your outfit. Is it based off of a certain um legendary Pokemon? Oh, Bat Lady. So you're a shiny Golbat. Well, not shiny Crowbat. You have a flying dinner cat. Really, a hole? All right, Orange Boy, you up.
really bats. Sorry, but uh, Batman in here. Okay, I wasn't expecting you to be that good. I think you make it all the way though. Through. I'm going home. Maybe the top guy, but I was only here because I was asked to be. It's like you're only here because Raymond asked you. This place going down, I'm not going with it. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, heal up. Because uh, all my team is pretty much. Uh, we're back here. I had to go back to the, the other town just to get more uh, uh, max repels and some full restores because I was all out. <laughs> Ooh. A metal powder. Sweet. And a quick powder. Go. Hey! I thought I was gonna go. Suck up to the hole. Let's have a ball. I'd rather not. Also, found out that Lumos has to be level 41 in order to evolve. After that ball, I'd like to trip it to the mall. Are all of these girls like rappers or something? Dang it! Does this mean I have to go between these two areas and find keys? If you want to use the healing machine, you have to get past me! Oh my god. Okay! Yeah, I need it. Thank you. Also, we're gonna put the uh, experience share on. Let's get off Daco. Daco the amulet coin. And now we're gonna switch Dot to main and head on to the next room. All right. Do 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 do. No. Where are you, grumpy cat? Yeah, aren't you having a ton of fun? I've unlocked the doors. Thank you. Hey, what are you watching? <laughs> Through the doors we go. So, you made it here, Messenger of Raymond. Even people who, who do whatever they are told are strong and lack real motivation. So I'm surprised. Does that make you mad? Well, tell me. Do you know how much, you know much vitamins cost? Um, over at Walmart, they're like $7 a bottle, depending on what kind you're needing. Uh, small bottles are like 4 Oh, are you talking about Pokemon vitamins? They're like 4500 Pokebucks. Like, pretty expensive. I didn't think so. They cost 9800 Well, that's close. Just one. It's, it's enough to put a decent hole in an old person's wallet. That's why I've been still having people selling for half of that. 4900 is still more than what 
put them more and sold in stores and see that they are valuable, but at a more reasonable price. Thomas here makes the vitamins we sell. Maybe not for much longer now that we've, we've been caught. Yes, that's true. You really screwed me over without even knowing what you were getting into, Nicola. Hey, yeah, that's the face law and the clear punishment they decided to give me. Run right away will just make it harder for all of us. Thomas, what will you do? I'll stand by you. Sorry about you being dragged into this. It's alright. I can't really run either, can I? I had a volunteer to help you with this in the first place. Alright, let's do this the easy way and turn ourselves in. Your expressions change, Nicola. Are you having second thoughts about what you did? If so, don't worry about it. What's done is done. Now we just deal as best we can. I think I have a pretty convincing argument in my defense. If we make this we make it out of this for our gym leader tiles intact, Nicora, I'm expecting a battle from you. Likewise. Oh, I swapped out the wrong voices, but who cares? We caught them. Well, I'm gonna end the episode off here because we finally caught the bad guys. So, I'm just gonna take a seat next to this gentleman right over here. Or whatever. Let's just have floor. Well, in our next episode, we're gonna see what happens next when we head to the police station. Or we talk to Raymond, actually. We may even get a battle out of him. So, I'm gonna get on out of here. If you like this video, why don't you hit that like button with a big ol' bibbity bobbity boop, and I'll see you all in the next one. Mwah! Stay magical, my friends, and don't buy black market vitamins. They will make you sick.